The takeoff items and the takeoff quantities that were calculated using model-based input can be used in the cost plan. And uh, they can be used in the cost plan uh, by using the takeoff item and takeoff quantity names as variables in formulas. Uh, as explained in uh, one of the previous levels, uh, the formula is part of a cost component and contains the toy.toc syntax. And we can refer to model-based takeoff items and takeoff quantities in exactly the same way. In this video, I will explain how you can look up the takeoff item and takeoff quantity using the uh, formula editor and how you can link your uh, cost plan item uh, to model-based input that way. This video I will explain how you can use the takeoff item dot takeoff quantity or toy dot talk syntax to refer to model based takeoff items and model based takeoff quantities. As soon as you include these model based takeoff items and takeoff quantities in a components formula, you will see that the elements associated with the takeoff items will be highlighted in the model and we will use the cost plan and 3D view uh, view set to accomplish that. We'll also create a custom lay layout so you can do a review of your takeoff items, cost plan, and 3D view at the same time. With our quantity takeoff now verified by using the, uh, the visual feedback from the 3D model and painting as explained in the previous video, we're now ready to start using the takeoff items and takeoff quantities in formulas in the cost planner. Let's start the Cost Planner Workflow panel and select the Plan Cost Workflow item. So I have a, a Cost Plan structure predefined here and the line item that I would like to look at is in the Slab on Grade category. It's called Slab on Grade. So I want to use the quantity that I just prepared in the Takeoff Manager. At the moment the quantity is zero and I'm activating the cost preview, the cost preset, I should say. And in the source quantity, see that the quantity there that is entered is zero. To assign a model-based quantity, a model-based takeoff item and takeoff quantity, I now open the formula editor by clicking on the FX button. And in the formula editor, I'm looking for the takeoff item that I just worked with. That is the slab on grade takeoff item over here. And what I want to use of that is the net top surface area. This is the quantity that I want to use. I remove the zero that I entered and I click the plus. And that gives me the value, the value that I just saw in the takeoff manager view. Click OK. And from now on, this slab on grade cost plan item, this cost component, is using the value that came directly from the model and that we painted as um, uh, as necessary in the takeoff manager. Now we can review how the component uses an item from or an element from the model or a collection of elements from the model in the cost planner and 3D tab. Let's open that. It opens the cost plan to the left and the 3D view to the right. So now when we go to the substructure slab on grade and then the cost component that I just linked that takeoff item to and selected, it will be highlighted in the 3D view. So this is a very quick way to review if um, everything in your project um, as captured in the design model is included in one or more cost components in your cost plan. So covering scope uh, is something that you can check by going through your collection of line items and seeing whether they have a corresponding element or a collection of corresponding elements highlighted in the 3D view. Now if you also want to include the takeoff manager in this view so you can verify the use of takeoff items in cost components and uh, show them in the 3D view at the same time, uh, you can create a new custom view layout. You click on the plus over here, and in this case we want to use three views, so I'm selecting this option. That opens a new view set, as you can see, and for each of the views I can select 
what I want to see, what content. So I'm selecting the 3D view and then uh, the small version of the takeoff manager and then at the bottom I want to use the cost planner. Now when I select an item in here it highlights so in the takeoff manager it highlights in the 3D view, in the 3D view and also in the cost plan and let me expand that a little bit when I select the slab on grade you'll see in the 3D view as well as in the cost plan where that quantity is used in this session we combined what you learned in the first four levels about cost planning with what you learned in level five about model-based quantity takeoff model-based takeoff items were linked to cost components using the toy.talk format in the formula editor after linking a model-based takeoff item to a component Associated elements are highlighted in the 3D model when you select the component in the cost plan. A great way to check if everything in the project is included in your cost plan. I concluded by creating a custom view set which allows for combining several views and in this case to review takeoff items, 3D view and cost at the same time.